Together, let's draw the Lewis structure for K2S, that's potassium sulfide. Potassium is from the left-hand side of the periodic table. This is where the metals are found, except for hydrogen. It's a non-metal, but potassium is definitely one of the alkali metals. Sulfur, on the other hand, is from the right-hand side of this staircase. It's a non-metal. When metals and non-metals combine together, they end up forming ionic compounds, which indicate that the metals are giving their electrons away to the non-metals. Let's see that in detail. Potassium is in group one, it brings one valence electron with it. That's a K with a dot. It's just how we show it. Sulfur is in group 16, which means it brings six valence electrons with it. One, two, whoops. Three, four, five, six. I should have spread them out before I started doubling them up. North, east, south, west. Fifth and sixth electrons go there. Non-metals want a full outer shell. That's what makes them stable and happy according to the octet rule. This sulfur has six, which is close but not quite there yet. It needs two extra. This potassium atom gives its electron away to sulfur. Now, sulfur has seven electrons. Even better, but still not the full eight that it craves. You're going to need a second potassium atom to give away its single electron in order to fill the octet on sulfur. To show the end product here is to write a sulfur with eight dots around it that is the full octet after all, and a minus two charge because it has two extra electrons compared to how it started. We have two Ks as well, but they gave up their electrons. So don't put the dot there and show people that it gave up an electron by giving it a plus one charge. You're going to have to write two of them down because you required two potassiums giving up their electrons to complete the octet here. By the way, two potassiums, one sulfur is where the formula comes from. You need two potassiums to satisfy the octet on a single sulfur. That's how it is. You might be able to take a shortcut here. You might be able to write two times K plus one, just so you don't have to write it twice. And then you'll have to show the, sul the, show the sulfur with its eight electrons in its outer shell and minus two charge as well. Just, you might not have to write them both if you can get away with writing two times. They're both valid Lewis structures. This one's my favorite. Which one's your favorite? Tell me in the comments. Just kidding. Uh, do what you wanna do. Best of luck.